Hi there, this is Nancy Christie Moore again, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how you can paint your glazes back over your resist techniques, such as the ones we did earlier with the string in the ink and the string with the liquid gold leaf. So if you'll come over here to the table, we'll get started. Here is the painting that I worked on with the ink and the liquid gold enamel. And I have, I'm working today with watercolors, and I'm going to show you what happens when you paint your, your watercolor glaze over this. See that? What's happening here, the enamel and the ink are resisting. And so they show right through your glaze. There's other things under there that are resist techniques too, but I just wanted to demonstrate the beauty that you can get by doing that. Now we can also we'll add another color. One of my favorite cobalt turquoise. Okay. I'm only doing it on this side because the next demonstration is going to be on what happens when you use your acrylics. This is transparent watercolor, remember that. With transparent watercolor you can uh, paint glazes yet still see what's underneath. There's a big difference between what happens with transparent watercolor and what happens with your opaque acrylics or your heavy acrylics. No matter what I do over this gold, it's still resisting. Okay? Now I want you to go back and try this at home, and I'll see you the next time.